series are hard. Power series are even harder. So why do we bother? There should be a good reason for that, right? Yes, there is. I will see the reason in this video. So let's look back at functions. What was a function again? Well, a function is like an engine. If you have an x in its domain of the function, and f works, you put it into your engine, f starts to work, and it spits out an f of x of function value. So that's what a function is. You have a set, you pick a number of the set, you put it into your function, and your function spits out a number. Now, but what is it what a power series does? Well, suppose you have some power series and an x inside the interval of convergence. You don't care about the boundary points now, you just pick your x inside your interval of convergence. You pick your x there, you put it into your power series, and it spits out a number. So, what do we see? A power series does actually exactly the same job as a function does. Put a number in, and you get a number out. And that's uh, the, the idea of a power series. A power series kind of acts like a function, uh, with as its domain the interval of convergence. So if we have a power series, and we can see it as a function, now we can, uh, I wonder whether we can go the other way around. Suppose we have some function, can we find a power series which is exactly the same as the function does? Well, that seems a difficult question. We have seen an example already. Because we know the geometric series, we have to sum n from 0 to infinity x to the power n, and we know that it is equal to 1 over 1 minus x, if x absolute value is smaller than 1. But now we see, hey, I can have my function f from minus 1 to, 1 to r, fx equals 1 over 1 minus x, and then I know if I have this function, the power of series is exactly this geometric series. 1 plus x plus x squared, etc. So given this one function, I have now one function, 1 over 1 minus x, and from this function I know the power series representation it is a geometric series. So I know at least from one function a power series representation. So the question is, can I do this for other functions as well? Suppose I have some other functions, can I find a accompanying power series? And uh, to, of course, question, how can I do that? And maybe really important for us, why on earth would I, do you want to do that? Well, the why question will have to wait for a slight moment. I will focus on the how question in the next videos first.